How you doing guys? This is Joe with LVV HVAC. We're working on an XR13 train unit. These are actually pretty good units. I got one of these in my house. Um, compressor's kicking on, fan's not going, okay? So, when you have something like this here, either it's a bad fan motor or it's a bad capacitor, okay? So now, of course, you can take it out and you can test it, okay? That's Which is what everyone should do all the time. But just for a little, a quick little test, even without taking anything off, you can get this thing spinning. Now remember, a capacitor is supposed to give extra electricity, or a little boost rather, to the fan motor, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give that thing a little spin, a little jolt, like the capacitors are supposed to. So if you ever flick it and then it starts to work, could it be a bad fan motor where uh, it gets too hot and then the bearings kind of seize up? Yeah, and then when it cools down, it starts again. But in this case, I don't believe that's the case at all. But if you ever flick it like this here, like that, right when it starts, you're kind of doing what the capacitor is supposed to do, okay? That gives it a little boost to push and start. And then if it continues to, to turn and go faster and faster and faster and stays on, that most likely you're gonna see a bad capacitor. So let me just show you one thing. This right over here. Okay, so now look, we're gonna give this a little flick. Here the compressor's on. Now you see, that fan's gonna kick right on. So everything's gonna run, and there's gonna be no problem. So most likely, we got a bad capacitor. So now let's take a look at the capacitor here. Now if you notice, you see this? See how it's bubbled? See the top, how it's like a, uh, a dome, right? Sometimes the bottom is the same way. See this bottom is a little flat, that's okay. But see how the top, that's a little bubble there. It should be flat. So that's a, a, an indication that this thing uh, blew up on the inside, pop. And then it's just, you know, and then now it's, it's, uh, it's shaped a little bubbled, bubbled out or whatnot, okay? So, like I said, if you flick it, you can get it going. If you don't have a capacitor, you can get this thing to flick if it's just a bad capacitor. You flick the fan, get it to go, go, you know, just drop it with the temperature way down. And then you can go to the, uh, you know, the supply house and then come back and then swap it out. In this case, we should have one in the van. So we're just going to swap that out and uh, go from there. And I'll also show you guys the microferrets on the fan side. So this is a dual capacitor where it's doing double duty. One is a fan and one is for... Uh, for Compressor. So the compressor side is probably good and the fan's probably not good. All right, so um, we're gonna let this run for a couple minutes. We're gonna go see the, uh, we have one in the van, which we should, and then we'll swap it out. But I'll definitely show you guys the uh, microferrets on the old one, okay, compared to the new one. All right, guys, so. All right, guys, so we have this capacitor pulled out. And they're 35.5, you see that? This one right here. 35 UF, 5 UF. The 5 UF is for the fan, 35 is for the compressor. Now, just really quick, normally the four spades, that's common where the power goes into. And then you could use this as a junction point to power other parts of the uh, of the unit. Then this one here is normally the Herm. Herm it's the, uh, the compressor, all right? And then this one is the fan, which is just normally one or maybe two. Okay, and if you scrape these out over here, okay, normally you'll see, if you find like the, you'll find like a C over here, and then uh, and then you have Herm over here, which is a compressor, and then you'll see fan for that one there. So now look, a good, comp a good capacitor. You go from C to Herm. Okay, let's see what we got. The 34 out of 35, very good. Now go from C to fan. 4.8 out of 5. Good. Now, if you go here, remember, now this is so rusted, you know, you, you know, if you scratched it, you'll see it, but 4 is always, see how 4 is C? See that? 4 is the C, 3 is the Herm, and then 1 is the fan. Same thing. So we're going to go, this is common, and this is Herm, hermetically sealed compressor. Nothing. And now go to the fan, common and fan. And nothing. You always can try to scratch the uh, scratch it so you get a really good connection, but this is your shot. Now, but you, look at this here. Look at the physical dimensions different. 
this wasn't made like this at the uh, at the at the manufacturer okay it's flat you see that I try moving it it's flat flat bottom flat top bubbled bottom bubble top you see that you see that whenever it's like what are those called the wooga woggles what are they called you know what I mean you know the thing that I forgot you forgot <laughs> anyway when it looks like a little like a beat like you know like a uh, one of those bobbleheads. Bobbleheads. There you go. And if it looks like a bobblehead, check it. Chuck it. Get rid of it. It's got to be flat. Nice and tight, this one here. So we're going to put this in and we're going to go to the next job. All right, guys. So uh, happy ASAN. Maybe I'll just give you a shot of the unit running real quick and then we'll say our goodbyes. All right, guys. So new capacitors in. Fan starter right up. Press starter right up. So, uh, and you, you do hear you do hear a little different of a sound also. So you know what? Maybe keeping it on might not be a great idea. You know, if it's an emergency, I guess so. But it can, it can it's not giving the support to the compressor and the uh, and the fan. So um, you know, you can do just a test and then swap it out. But you should have these in the in the van. The 35.5 is pretty common. You know, just get a bunch of different ones: 35.5, 35.7, and just go up through that 40 plus 5, 40 plus 7.5, all that stuff. All right, because I guarantee you it's going to uh, it'll pay off. You don't have to run to the you know, run to the supply house, which takes an hour. You know, it's ridiculous. So uh, machine's running, bad capacitor. There's some physical signs you can see, and then there's, the, of course, you're going to take your multimeter and go to MDF, okay, microfarads on your on your meter, and always go from common to herm, common to, to uh, fan, and you always, always, you always, always can just scratch, all right, around, and you can see where it says C and Herm, and then take a picture, and so you know exactly where everything goes back. All right, guys, see you next time. All right, on this 90-degree day, I'm sure we'll make some more videos. See you later.